Hi everyone, it's Luke from Makers Empire. Thanks for joining me. Here at Makers Empire, we make a great 3D printing learning program for K-8 schools. Uh, it includes software, lesson plans, a teacher's dashboard, professional development and analytics. When trying to get a 3D printer to print reliably, there's a few things we need to consider and a few things we need to keep an eye out for. Today I'm going to be showing you seven ways of getting reliably successful prints. One of the foremost factors in getting a printer to print reliably is platform calibration. This is broken into nozzle height and platform leveling. Nozzle height is actually the height that the bed needs to raise to in order to get to the nozzle for printing. Thankfully both the Upbox Plus and the Up Mini 2 have automatic nozzle height detection. Through the software you can click on nozzle detect at which point you'll need to make sure the nozzle is clean and the printer will then raise the platform and check its calibration. The second part of platform calibration is platform leveling. This is making sure that the platform on which your objects will be printed is perfectly flat. On the up box, we can do this automatically through the software like this. Unfortunately, the Up Mini 2 doesn't have automatic bed leveling, but very rarely does it become an issue. For printing on an up printer, you'll also need a print bed. Make sure it's sitting flat on the platform and not at an angle like this. Once you've done the platform calibration, you shouldn't need to do it again if you're gentle with the printer and if it's not being moved. If at any point you feel that it has been moved or bumped, feel free to run the auto calibration once more. In deciding whether or not to use the perf board or the flex board, it's usually easiest simply to just use the flex board. If you happen to use the perf board, the bottom of your raft or the bottom of your model will fill the individual holes and will be quite difficult and dangerous to remove. Using a flex board instead will save you this hassle and give your models a nice smooth finish on the bottom. If you need to clean it, a wipe over with a paper towel and some isopropyl alcohol will do the trick. Alternatively, you can use water as well. If you're using a perf board, cleaning out the many, many holes isn't necessary. To stop burnt contaminants from getting into your 3D print, it's best to clean off the nozzle if it's looking dirty. You can do this by warming the nozzle and taking a thick folded paper towel and wiping it off, making sure to be careful. To get a sturdy print, the printer should ideally be on a sturdy surface such as a table. If you notice that the printer is wobbling from side to side, you may need to move it to a more sturdier surface. Proper care of the filament is also essential to getting a reliable 3D print. If you're using PLA plastic, it should only be open when you need it and should be stored in a container with the silica gel that it came with. This will ensure it stays dry and doesn't collect dust which could clog the printer. If you're finished with a roll of filament, you should always tie off the end like so. Hopefully this has helped you understand seven things that may help you get a more reliable 3D print. If you'd like to know more about using a 3D printer, check out some of our other videos. I'm Luke from Makers Empire, thanks for joining me. If you'd like to know more about the Makers Empire 3D printing learning program for K-8 schools, check the video description below. If you have any questions or requests, you can leave them in the comments below also.